Good evening everybody, it's Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I'm walking around here with the through night TH30 headlamp on my head. Wind is a little bit bad. Um, very, very wide angle. I'm not sure what my camera shows, but for a headlamp, I like the angle. You can see my uh, greenhouse frame out in the garden. I like the angle very much. Now this has, um, it's awkward while I'm doing camera, I'm reaching up with, let me try a different hand, that'll help. Okay, this has different functions, I'm going to go through the functions, I might take it off my head for this camera video review. Okay, now, because I'm trying not to shut off my light while I'm trying to show you what I'm doing here. Alright, so this one, you uh, can cycle through, there's off, on off on all right one click is on or off and then hold the button low medium high high so there's uh, an in flashing so it cycles through everything by holding the button it's cycling through all the cycles right now okay now it's got a ultra lit low um, let me turn it off again on let me go medium high, really high, and then flink, blinking, SOS mode, or it's actually SOS mode, was it, yes, anyway, off, and then, um, so we got low, medium, high, ultra high, SOS, by holding the button, and then you hold, slow, you, you um, on the off mode, and you hold the button, for a couple seconds and you've got your firefly mode your ultra ultra low reading lamp or uh, firefly mode for camping for stealth mode so anyway let's go, turn it back on to normal mode also it has a memory effect so it turns on in the last mode you used it in now I'm gonna crank it on up to there's low medium and high there's your high mode and let me get my flashlight pointed where I want the reason is uh, it's awkward with the camera to try to show, to look at my camera and try to angle the light because uh, my head's moving one way, one place, and my camera <laughs> is a different place. So anyway, I'm holding it like this under my camera. That's high. You can see the tree in the night pretty well. For a headlamp, um, considering our yard is 300 feet, no, I think our yard is 200 feet, and I'm just near the edge of it. I'm um, I'm a third in towards the sheds. It's a pretty large yard, and you can see the neighbor's flagpole. I can see it clearly. I don't know what the camera shows. I can clearly see the neighbor's flagpole. Now let's go on to the turbo, turbo mode, all right? Now, this isn't a killer bright light, but look, for a headlamp, um, look at the range. I like the wide angle very very good when you're running around in the dark you can't be worried about what's in front of you and with this light you've got an ultra wide angle it's not piercing the night but it gives you a very good coverage and I think for a headlight headlamp that's a good thing to have you can see the the trees on the other end of the property over there well enough so but nighttime this is a very very good light I am pleased now I am not going to do an underwater video because it's all frozen out here but what I can tell you is that I've had this out in the rain and the snow and all kinds of weather I've had this light for a while and actually my first light um, the switch was defective so through night sent me a brand new one and um, you know that they, they didn't have to do that I'm telling you that that just shows and they immediately sent out a brand new light so um, yeah the first one just wasn't turning on anymore after a while so I've been reviewing this particular flashlight this headlamp for a while and this is Melanie's grab-and-go light it's both of us this is what we've been using for this whole period it's our grab-and-go light um, being out in the cold here like now I can run this thing uh, almost forever without worrying about it overheating it because they do have um, heat 
uh, protection, so overheat protection, so they'll shut down if they get too hot, but not a problem here. They are going, they are holding up, it is holding up to all weather conditions, extreme cold and shock, we drop it because it's, it is a headlamp, you're going to drop it a lot, and we have a cement floor. Um, well, we have carpets, but still, it's not soft when you drop a light on it. So um, definitely um, it's shockproof. Also dropping it outdoors in the, in the ice, and if it was some weaker flashlight, it would be dead. So very good. I can see extremely well. Anything I need to do, I can see extremely well. So you can see for a headlamp, you cannot ask for anything better than this. All right, guys. My final results and thoughts on the Thru-Night TC30 headlamp slash flashlight. Melanie and I both use this all the time now. She uses it to go out and check the chickens at night, and I use it to go check on the animals and everything else. We both use this all the time. And I have to say, for a headlamp, it is one of the best headlamps that you can have. Actually, it's the only headlamp that's out right now at our place for grab and go. This hangs right by the door. And this is the light that we both now use because it's so bright and so good. And uh, as you see in the video here, it is a very impressive light with uh, a whopping 3,350 lumens. For this tiny little light on turbo mode now in the night examples you can see all these these uh, ranges on the high mode you've got a thousand two hundred and seventy five lumens which still blows away almost any headlamp I've seen out there on the market in the medium mode you got 352 lumens and with the medium low you got 130 lumens, which is about what the average flashlight, the average headlamp truly has out there in the market. And that's, that's one of their low modes. The low is 25 lumens. And then the Firefly mode being half a lumen, which is the typical through night Firefly mode, which I love so much for survival. And then the emergency SOS is 645 lumens. Um, it has a range of 155 meters. That is, people, um, 450 feet range on this little headlamp. That is quite impressive. And it is uh, impact resistant, which we have definitely shown and proven here on the homestead in the past days and weeks and months here. Definitely we have put it through its works as far as the impact resistance and the waterproofing, which is IPX. Uh, eight, which is two, me two meters or about six feet. Um, we haven't done any dunking because the uh, water, the lakes are frozen solid, but we have certainly been out in the rain, snow, and all kinds of sloppy uh, weather with this headlamp. Now, because it's winter, this headlamp goes outside on top of our hat, and then obviously the headlamp gets all of the weather on it and not our head. So very good now this is USB rechargeable which is great because um, it's so convenient to charge anywhere anytime any USB charging port you can charge this thing so you don't have to take the battery out which I love and I've used this on the road on the go with my e-scene solar um, bag messenger bag that I actually what I do is I'll throw the messenger bag when we're on trips in the back window of the car plug its solar panel into here while we're charging our phones in the front car uh, cigarette lighter sockets so it's convenient that I can charge this with anything with a battery pack uh, because our house is off the grid we have USB charging ports right there next to the couch and pretty much everybody has the way to charge a USB device now these days so I love that. Of course it comes with a charging cable, which we haven't opened because we charge it either with the solar messenger bag or with our uh, plugs that stay stuck in there all the time. But good to have a cable that comes with it. 
There's your typical through night accessories. There's two spare washers or gaskets and a um, USB charging port cover. Very, very good. Because most likely that's what you're going to wear out first is that cover. And then even, which is amazing through night quality, even the headlamp, uh, the rubber, that turns it into a headlamp. So you can take this all apart and replace the rubber mounting for the light. Now here's something cool about this. This is not just a headlamp. This is very, very versatile. Okay? It's also very good on there. It's on there very, very well. Oh, uh, this thing is not just a headlamp. It's a flashlight. I think there's a clip that came with this. I have to look. Hold on a minute. Let me see if the clip fits that. There's a clip that comes with it. So you can clip it onto your shirt pocket. And you've got a flashlight on your shirt pocket. Now, who, how cool is that? Now, this is cool. Fist. I mean, seriously, if you want a good uh, light slash weapon, you can use it for punching, but at the same time you're punching them, you can blind them. <laughs> that is pretty cool. It, it fits perfectly in your palm, and it's very convenient to cycle through the, the uh, different modes right there. It is so convenient to hold, so convenient to use. Look at that. It just is truly amazing as a handheld light. So it's very versatile for a headlight or a shirt clip light or a handheld light this is a really good light the through night TC 30 and with the uh, over 3,000 lumens that's insane for that look at the size of that light for over 3,000 lumens that is crazy bright now that clip is not gonna fall off that is so stiff it took me a minute with two hands to get that clip back on. It's even harder to get off. That clip is on there and that is not going to fall off. So you can be sure you're not going to lose your light on the go if you got it clipped onto your shirt and you run into the forest or something. Definitely is on there to stay. Now um, this has a cool little indicator which I love. Let me turn that to a little bit dimmer. Okay, well anyway, um, I put it on Firefly mode. There we go. There has a uh, beautiful little indicator that also tells you the status of charge on the light. And it'll go between blue, which is full, to red, which is 20%. Um, so blue is down to 20%, red is below 20%, down to 11%, flashing red is 1 to 10%, and 0% is off. It's just going to go off. Um, so when it's charging, it's going to cycle through your ranges as well, and um, it'll let you know when it's char when it's done charging. I believe it shuts off the uh, the uh, the light, and it's automatically um, it's got a fully automatic charge controller in there, so it's going to shut itself off when the battery is topped off so you're not going to overcharge and you're not going to undercharge you put it on you leave it you, you forget it you come back the next day if you want and the thing's going to be topped off for you which I love um, being USB chargeable I mean I can rant and rave about that forever I really love the fact that it's USB chargeable one thing I I love about all through night lights I've had so far is the memory mode turn it on it's going to be in the last mode you used it in so no more fumbling through cycles. I like the fact that I can set it and know when I grab the light and I've got to run out in a hurry, something's after the animals, I turn on the light and I don't have to fumble through a bunch of buttons and modes to get it to where I need it. It's right there. I really love that. And, uh, and honestly, we do set it to various things depending on what we're going to be doing with it at the time. So uh, that's extremely good. Uh, thing there I love that I love that fact that feature all right guys well you can get the through night um, TC 30 flashlight I'll put the links down below 
in the video description and in the comments and you can go ahead and get yours and extreme high quality parts extremely high quality very very good accessory packs they mean for you to be using this thing for a long long time and very good service all right I love these guys and uh, honestly it's it's the one I would point to if I want if I tell somebody what light should they get I'm gonna point to through night all right guys well thanks for watching this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project please like subscribe and share and follow our videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget uh, by the way check out DIY tube video community for a troll free experience and freedom of speech to post whatever you like without fear of being harassed or bothered and uh, we're discriminated against and we're starting a revenue sharing plan so check it out guys start earning rewards now to cash in for revenue later talk to you all later